Hello again, this is UML Operator. All right, welcome to part one of a multi-part series on web UI design. We're gonna call it simple because this is a simple static site we're going to design and implement. And we're going to start with a composite map to help us understand the pages that we want to include. We'll get into wireframe design and uh, you know from the home page to other sub pages that we'll be navigating to from that this will help us start to build the requirements for our project for our implementation and we're also going to get into building patterns based off of the website that we're going to be using so whether you're using wordpress or squarespace or google and in this case we're going to be using Google. There are various tools, templates that they give us to help design and build our website. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is build a package where we can start wireframing. And as you know, in Sparks, we can move and manage these packages anytime that we want. So what we're doing in this particular case is we're building out the project structure with requirements, with wireframing, with mapping, and then eventually we'll get into building out patterns. So in this case, we're just adding some simple diagrams in here to get started as we roll into each one. And we will change these if necessary. We'll move the packages and diagrams around as we progress. You can start anywhere you want in the life cycle. You can start with requirements, or you can start with just your vision of what the layout's going to be. In this case, we're starting with a vision of what we believe the pages that are necessary based on what we already know and how we want to particularly lay out the navigation of the site once we choose a site tooling or technology to start building on. Right now, we're just conceptualizing the pages and how they land within the website from the home page, how they move back. And this is going to help us elicit requirements. And all of this is done in iteration. So we might start with a few simple UI. Here we're using the Sparks extended UI tooling just to bring in UI elements to conceptualize around. What we see right now is we're building out navigation using dependency and it's a use stereotype. So we're stating as a home page is going to use navigation to get to these other pages as we're going forward. As we're doing this, we're thinking about navigation. We're thinking about how and what navigation tooling we're going to use to get to the various layers of our web content. So in this particular case, what we're doing over in the browser is that we're taking the UI elements that we've done and we're going to tuck them under the first layer, which is going to be the home page. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to move other pages up under pages that might be in the second layer. And as we start thinking about deeper levels of content, we'll start to move the content up under the particular pages that they may fall under for navigation. And that'll make more sense in just a moment. This exercise helps us get to wireframing. And wireframing is using Spark's wireframing tooling where we can bring in a web page template and start building out the look and feel and the elements within the web page that will be under development. So what we're doing right now is we're bringing in an image, some text, we're bringing in a navigation element, we're going to be using this type of navigation, and we're gonna use our mapping that we just did to help build out the navigation that'll eventually lead the, to the user experience from the home page as well as other pages because we're going to use this type of navigation across all the pages in this site and this design. The navigation control element allows you to actually go inside and put the elements that you want, the pages that you want to show up 
within the navigation bar. So what you're seeing right now is we're using the mapping to help decide what we're going to put, what layers we're going to build as we're building out the website design, the UI design and user experience. Sparks allows you to do some formatting, but we're gonna count on the style sheet that's provided with, within the website and the tooling that drives style. But in this case, we're just putting in some general or basic styles just to get an understanding as we're working with client stakeholders of how they want the page to be formatted, where they want logos and where they want other things within the page, whether they're banners, how the banner should be shown, how navigation should be shown around banners and other elements. Now we're using agile methodology in this delivery implementation. Um, you could be using scaled agile. At one point where you gotta get to demonstrating where you are so far within your design and implementation. Now I know it went rather fast in this first part. In the next parts, and there's gonna be a few, I'm gonna go a lot slower. I'm gonna show you exactly how we built out the composite views, how we built out all of the wireframes and what those led to as far as each one of the pages. So wireframes into the homepage design, which we just did into taking other pages and building those out using the tooling that's over in the toolbox to get an idea of how we wanna block out each page as we're building what UI components we want to use on each page based on the views and viewpoints of the user that's in that particular topic. And so the really fun part is going to be when we get to uh, patterns, because in patterns, the tool that we're gonna be using is Google's uh, domain or website tooling, which was acquired by Squarespace, and, but they still provide the same patterns and tooling. So one page, one image, two images uh, vertically, I mean, horizontally, with content elements. So when we're building out these patterns, we're able to go out and just simply drag and drop these elements, these UI patterns, drag and drop these into our wireframes so we're able to build out how we want particular pages to be laid out. So thanks again for watching. I look forward to producing the next video, which is gonna go a little slower. It's gonna start in the beginning with the mapping and we'll continue all the way down to the point where we get to a finished product. In this case, here's the finished product, uh, the website that we have out for UML operator. So you can see the navigation that we used here, allowing us to get to particular pages, same navigation bar you're gonna see in the wireframes, gets us to the various subjects. And for those of you that want easy access and understanding, of the various playlists that we've developed all the way down to the system architecture delivery play playlist, where this video is going to reside down into probably episode 27 in within this series. Still haven't made up my mind yet what we're going to do. So lots uh, more to talk about and look forward to your comments, good or bad. Let me know what your questions are, the challenges you have, what tooling you're using for your web design, your UI user experience design. I've used quite a bit. Another one of my favorites is Azure Pro or RP. And then there are many others that are out there we'll be talking about in this channel. So until the next time that we talk, happy modeling.